I see. To think Saki was down there all this time. At least she's not injured or anything, right? Yeah, she was completely fine. I imagine was demolished and yet you're still considered a suspect in all of this. It just doesn't make any sense. How do you mean? The author of those newspaper articles may be a Tengu, but it doesn't seem to be bogus reporting. It feels pretty legitimate. So if that's true, then why does everything bad seem to be happening to us? It seems a little too convenient, if you ask me. So you think someone is trying to set us up? Maybe. I can't be totally sure yet, though. Then I suppose all there is to be done at present is track down the truth. You're planning to go out around noon, right? Yeah, not exactly my first choice, but there are some people I can only get a hold of during the daylight hours. I've heard there are a lot of stores in the outer world that are open 24 hours a day. Really? Well, it should be nice if the Tengu take a few cues from them. Takia isn't here to assist you. Do you want to take an umbrella along? I don't even think the steadiest parasol would hold up too long if I tried to hold it while fighting monsters. Perhaps a different solution is in order. Can you do something with your magic? That's a bit much to ask me all of a sudden. It's no easy task to just blot out the light of the sun, you know. Oh. You could conjure up a thick mist to hide the sun like before. But probably not on such short notice, huh? And thanks to those articles, we're all suspects already. So if you call up any mist now, you can guess what will happen. The maiden from Hackery Shrine will come flying over here and level what's left of the place. Yeah. Let's not use that idea. And how about visiting Corindo? They sell all sorts of rare curios from the outer world. Maybe they have something to block out sunlight without an umbrella. That shop, huh? I don't have any better idea, so I might as well take a look. Now we gotta go head to Corindo, the main store of the game. An antique shop of a sort. Uh, um. Well then, uh, this, this, this is a awfully strange welcome, isn't it? Look at all these antiques. Why do you have a place like this? There's even a dancing sunflower. Well, this guy's clearly crazy. Venusuke. Oh my, an actual customer. What can I do for you today? Is there something in particular you're looking for? Do you have anything that can blot out the light of the sun? That's a pretty tall order, don't you think? Can't you just use an umbrella? Well, I could. But trying to simultaneously fight and block the sun with an umbrella seems like a real pain. The monster I'm hunting down seems like something I'd want two hands free for. Uh, just so you know, this is hands down the most ridiculous request anyone has come to me with. But this is your lucky day. I just so happened to get something rather interesting in earlier today. Wait a minute. Here you go. He didn't even move or anything. He's just staring at his logbook. What is this small tube? This marvel in a can is called Super Light Shield Spray. Just apply a nice even coat to your body and it fully blocks sunlight. The copper made it while trying to reproduce spray on sunscreen. This brass came out a little too strong. Apparently, if normal humans used it, they'd freeze and die of hypothermia. There's no way I could sell something like this in the village's bazaar, so I ended up bringing it here. But I guess for someone like yourself, it's all benefits and no drawbacks, right? Only one way to find out! Whoa, don't spray that stuff in here! I don't want to eat in the fitness of my products or anything! If this ends up being hazardous, I'm holding you personally accountable. Hmm... 
I do feel cooler. But that doesn't necessarily mean I can just take a stroll in the middle of the day without a care. Well, you wouldn't die immediately, even if you were in direct sunlight, right? You've got some wiggle room. Wow, what a terrible thing to say. Anyway, just take the spray as a gift from me. It's not like anyone else would buy it, even at bargain basement prices. It's a little something extra. I'll throw in the super waterproof spray absolutely free. I've heard you vampires are none too fond of flowing water, so it may come in handy. Just spray that on and you'll be as water repellent as a duck. Just don't go diving into any rivers or anything. You're being awfully generous, what's the catch? No catch, really. I'm giving you these two sprays, on the house. But I do sell some other things here you might find useful. I see where you're going. Hunting down monsters can be a troublesome task. So if you would like those free samples, surely it wouldn't hurt if you came. Fine, fine, I'll patronize your store. Many thanks. I'm not asking you to buy things you don't need, of course. Just stop by when you have a particular need. Huh. If that's the case, I might not ever end up coming back here again. If that's truly the case, so be it. Oh, and tell your maid I said hello. She's one of my best customers, you know. Seems Saki is the best customer no matter where she goes. I'll pass that along. But right now, I intend to enjoy my first experience sunbathing. Enjoy the daylight all you want, but just keep in mind the spray the effects only last 24 hours. Noted. In that case, I should be on my way to the waterfall of the Nine Heavens. 24 hours, that means she's only got 24 hours to figure out and solve the incident all on a single day. I mean, Amelia's really not getting any sleep tonight. Ah, uh, yes, the waterfall. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It seems like that dodgy spray is actually working. Color me surprised. If the lower falls office is closed, I need to pay a visit to the upper falls branch then, right? Waterfalls, midday strolls. This may be my least vampiric day ever. I never thought I'd see the day when I could walk triumphant in broad daylight. A vampire who has overcome her weaknesses is fit to be called the ultimate life form, right? Okay. Enough with the weird thoughts. Time to get going. Now I visit the place during the day. And that water doesn't look entirely horrible. Oh, it's got a weird sinking problem at the top here. Oh no. And even the Thousand Nados don't protect us from the frogs, and right away, apparently, there's even possessed fairies already attacking us. Oh, but we can knock them off a cliff. Show them that vampires are the true strength of the world. That's another one of those lion things. Now it looks like there are enemies on the waterfall bridge. I'm guessing by the fact that it was close, it means we'll have to take the trip upwards. Meaning climbing the entire waterfall. How is that possible? Come back later. We don't have time though, we got 24 hours. Make way there. water out of me, surprisingly. Oh no, it's another one of those mushrooms. Let's not waste our time on it. It's an awfully fast lift. Now the waste. Gotta wait for the lift. But someone apparently decided to draw an arrow to go up on it. Not like anyone visits the waterfalls anyway. Let alone, who would want to climb it like this? The worst thing about this level is falling. Not because you take fall damage, because you don't. But because then you have to climb all the way back up. Just crows are everywhere. 
something. I wonder if these ferrets have some kind of aimbot thing that makes them super accurate. Also, weirdly enough, the character model floats above the bridge. You don't even really walk on it going up, you're kind of just floating like it's a straight platform. That's weird. And caverns. Waterfall lives in it without its mysteries. Shouldn't, probably shouldn't jump into it though. Renosuke did say, don't jump into any rivers or anything, so we probably shouldn't jump into the water. A little doesn't hurt though. Surprise that didn't get ya. Can't wait to get more skill lobs. So that needle attack really does take a lot of use out of it. Picking four entirely. Soon as I will we'll get more skill. Apparently it says to go this way. Secret passage. Possibly. Try not to fall into the water now. Lest we die. Sapphire. More nameless claws are all lame white items. Where's all the golds and the rares? We need something superior to what we have. Even went as far as making us a bit of a maze to figure out. Another frilly bracelet. We have like 50 million out of those at this point. that platform before it takes off. Be careful with this. We don't want to fall. Falling is the worst thing that could possibly happen. That goes really quick. We have the cross. I don't think that's going to hit these things since it's on a lower level. Now the risk. Gotta wash those edges. Should be reaching the top soon. You can see a part of the surface actually. Now we're near right now. Without the needles. Preserve our skill a little bit. May not even be the boss yet, this might only be like the halfway point. Kind of theater with the most evilest fairy of all. Spear the gun here. That missed almost every single one of me in the room except for that. ways we can go it looks like. Hmm. Right path is always the right one. Sometimes. I don't know but it's the worst it was the bad plant. Now that water looks reversible. 
Not even any splashes when we run around on it, really, either. It's very minor, if anything. White porcelain pot, more self to sell for money. I know there's one of the... I don't remember what they're called, but it's like a gas pot machine or something. You need a lot of gold for those, but you can get some really nice gear from it. Huge matter of luck, though. Always seems like we're a lot safer in the caves than outside of it. Because at least when we're in the cage, we don't have to worry about flying to the bottom of the waterfall again. Looks like we're headed back out, though. Not a, oh dear. Ferris wheel. Oh no, they're just making this worse. Making it more trickier. Then again, we might only fall to the middle platform now if we fall. And I used that a little bit too far away. Other than all the one, too. Get this item first to cover out of Samaru. We already have one, we'll see if it's better. Whoops. Mmm. Not horrible. More crit power, though, so. Uh oh. She didn't have the gliding ability, would have fallen. Sakia would have, she could have made that jump. But you almost just knocked me off. How do plants even grow on the wood like this? I made it to the top. Yeah, what healing we can. I'm gonna try and go for that. Ayo does, it doesn't look like Ayo's even here. In fact, it's Suika. Ta-da! Listen, I hate to shut you down when you're so obviously excited, but I've come seeking a Tengu, not an Ani. What? Aw, come on, don't be like that. Just play with me a little. Big-eyed pleading doesn't really suit an Ani, just so you know. You're here about the monster, right? And you didn't like that article about the red mist and want to pester the Tengu, right? That's exactly why I'm here. But when you're saying it like that, it makes me sound petty and petulant. Exactly as planned. Wait, you can make yourself larger and turn into mist, can't you? Hold up. If you think I'm the Crimson Mist, you're wrong. But you're so blatantly suspicious. If it was you, that would explain everything. Ani, never lie, I assure you. By the way, since we're both here and all, how about getting a little workout in? Eh, why not? To be honest, I've been frustrated since yesterday, and I need to blow off some steam. Prepare yourself. Yeah, this is my jam. Bring it on! Some of the massive rock and chucks of that us. The needles. Might be a wise idea to use the gun near early while we can. Be wary, her strength. We got an all time high. We do have some invulnerability with that, but how long will that last, we wonder? The spear pierces right through. Probably gonna turn huge in a second, causing mass earthquakes. The strength of an Ani. 
If anything you gotta watch out for is getting hit by your fists. Her punches are not to be underestimated, such as an Ani's power. 100 damage. The needle. How come she's not turning big like once? You're out, Tsurika. Why didn't you even turn big once? You're not half bad. Oh yeah, no, that was intentional. Come on, you're not even taking this seriously. You didn't even get bigger. If I turned giant size here, that journalist hiding out here would probably cry. But I can tell you this, you'd better get stronger if you're aiming to defeat that monster. So you do know something about it. Maybe. But if you want me to spill the beans, you'll have to make me, and that'll take more strength than you've got now. Fine by me. Well, even if I can't get an answer out of you, I'll figure it out myself eventually. That's the spirit. I'm gonna enjoy watching you. How this pans out. Um, it's been Siri got still there. Why are you hiding behind the door? <laughs> She's something like an ex-boss of mine, so I get nervous when I see her. Oh, don't mind me, nun. You came here to have a chat with a tank in the first place, right? Is that so, Miss Romelia? How can I help you today? I'd like to ask a few questions about the reporting of this publication. Ah, you're here because of that article, aren't you? Did you perchance have any misgivings about our reporting? Did you th think you could print such li libel about me and I wouldn't get offended? What are you trying to do? Pick a fight? Oh, I'm terribly sorry you feel that way. Well, how about this? I heard that your mansion was demolished by a monster. What if I run an article about that? If people see that you yourself were a victim, it would help dispel the fears about you. Ugh. No way. I'd die of embarrassment if people knew my house got destroyed. Don't, doesn't everybody know that it happens every single month? I'm afraid you're a little late. I heard some people in the village talking about it already. Mm, let's forget about that for now. Oh, and for the record, I wanted to set one thing straight about us, Tengu. Sure, we're not as straightforward or honest as Ani. We've never denied that. But when it comes to our journalism, we print only the truth, and you can quote me on that. I mean, sure, sometimes we might write an article before doing proper research or providing our own sources, but nobody's perfect. Do you not see the problem with that? Info's gotta get out to the public while it's so hot and fresh, right? And right now, the monster's the talk of the town. Anyway, the point of all this jibber-jabber is that you were wrote in the paper is true, right? I swear it. That's good enough for me. So if I can find this red mist and check out the area, there's a good chance I'll run into the monster, right? Um, yeah, it seems that way. Is there any other pertinent information you can provide? Can I see the papers you have now? What you've got here covers pretty much everything I know about the monsters. What puzzles me is that even though this has really started to blow up, the Hackery Shrine Maiden hasn't stepped in yet. Again, huh? Raimu, huh? I don't think she's involved this time. Still, it couldn't hurt to visit the Shrine later, just in case. By the way, it's been bugging me all this time, but since we one of vampires been able to walk around in broad daylight anyway. Hmm, <laughs> Trade secret, I'm afraid. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Well, now, it looks like things are gonna get even more entertaining than I expected. Agreed. This could be a big scoop. 